Hello, welcome to this week's Holy Yoga Chair Practice. My name is Barb Tucker. I am a member of the Colts Neck Reformed Church in Colts Neck, New Jersey, and I welcome you to today's practice. We will be sitting in our chair for, um, for the whole uh, practice today. So get yourself a chair with no arms. I have a card table chair, you can use your kitchen chair, your uh, dining room chair, but just a chair with no arms, but just some sturdy, sturdy foundation here. And just coming to your beautiful mountain seat. So having your feet rooted to the floor, parallel to each other, your knees parallel to each other, your shoulders over your hips, and most important of all, taking your back away from the back of the chair, having your ears over your shoulders into this beautiful seat, I'll just do it to the side a little bit. But again, taking your back away, no slouching, but coming up tall, using your um, core here to help you come up tall and stay tall. Great. So coming to that beautiful seat, maybe coming up towards the top of your chair, Having your hands, your palms just resting on your knees. Let's close our eyes. And just notice your breath here. Taking time to be mindful, be in the moment of this practice, not thinking about something that happened earlier today not wishing this would be over so you can go do something else today, but taking the time for just now, feeling just your breath, noticing the rise of your heart, maybe taking your toes up, raising them up and just wiggling your toes and placing them back down gently rooting them in to the floor, rooting your heels down, activating your legs. And as you root down, taking a deep inhale, rising up tall, lengthening your spine, and exhale. And then just taking a moment here just to notice the slowness of your breath, slowing down, I'm going to ask you to take, um, it's a four step, four breath, four time um, breath flow here. We're going to inhale for four breaths, resting for the count of four, exhale count of four, rest count of four. So I'm going to guide you for the first couple breaths and then let you continue on your own pace. So focusing in again on your breath here, taking inhale, one, two, three, four, and rest, two, three, four. Exhale through the nose, two, three, four, and rest, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four, rest, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, rest, two, three, four. And just continue for a few more cycles, becoming more aware of your body, aware of your breath. time. Inhale, one, two, three, four, rest, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, and rest, two, three, four. Now I 
invite you now to come back to your regular breathing. Continue to close your eyes. I'm going to read today from John 15, starting at verse 1. And this is from the Passion Translation. I am a true sprouting vine, and the farmer who tends the vine is my father. He cares for the branches connected to me by lifting and propping up the fruitless branches and pruning every fruitful branch to yield a greater harvest. The words I have spoken over you already cleansed you, so you must remain in life union with me, for I remain in life union with you. For as a branch severed from the vine will not bear fruit, so your life will be fruitless unless you live your life intimately joined to mine. I am the sprouting vine and you are my branches. As you live in union with me, as your source, fruitfulness will stream from within you. And again, keeping your eyes closed, just breathing in stitching in some of those words, maybe thinking of the joy or the pain of the pruning, but to only help you to bear a greater harvest, to become more fruitful. you to take your deepest breath of the day, taking a deep inhale all the way from your belly through your heart, lengthening your spine as you're rising up with your air, all the way through the crown of your head. Exhale through your mouth like a waterfall rushing over your heart, over your belly. And one more time, taking one more deep inhale. Taking a deep inhale, rising up with your arms, gazing up towards your fingertips, palms away from you, just down to your side. Inhale, rising up, gazing towards your fingertips, palms towards each other, touching your tips, releasing your tips, having your palms out, down, and coming down. One more inhale, up, root down through your feet, rising up, lengthening your spine, Resting your palms on your knees, just taking your chin to your chest and gazing to the ceiling and to your chest. Taking one breath, one movement. And coming to neutral. Taking your right ear to your right shoulder, bringing your left palm towards the um, Floor, pushing through the floor, through the air towards the floor with that left palm, really getting a nice stretch right here. Taking a deep inhale here and exhale. Putting the left palm back on your left um, knee, taking your left ear to your left shoulder, right palm pushing the air towards the floor. Really getting a nice stretch to that right side of your neck. One more inhale and one more exhale. And coming back to center, taking your nose as though it's a paintbrush and painting the number eight in the ceiling, in the sky. And reversing the action. Taking an inhale, rising up high. Exhale, arms out like wings, bringing your fingertips to your shoulders and just coming in, just touching your elbows and coming out. Coming in and coming 
out. Breathing with each movement, taking one inhale, one exhale. And next time your arms are out long, just circling around one way. And then the other. And taking your hands down to your side. Interlacing your fingertips, having your palms towards me, your thumbs towards the floor. Just circling your thumbs one way and then the other. Taking an inhale, rising up high. Exhale, releasing your hands down to your side. Interlacing your hands, coming back out towards me. Bringing your hands underneath your chin, raising up your elbows and bringing your elbows together. Again, noticing how your feet are, that your knees are still parallel. Don't let them go out or to the side. But really focusing on rooting down with your knee, your feet and keeping your knees parallel. One breath up. Exhale down. We'll do that one more time. And down. And hands to your side. Inhale, rising up high. Exhale down to the uh, side. Inhale up, coming to prayer. Having your hands at prayer, resting at heart center. Rising up high again, rooting down so you can lift up through the spine here. Twisting, slight twist to the right the first one of the day, so just slightly, and back to center. Inhale, rising up high, and over to the left. Again, just a slight one, first one of the day. Inhale, we're going to rise up into prayer, gazing towards our fingers. Exhale, hands to our side, chin to chest. Inhale, rising up high, hands together in prayer. Exhale, resting at our heart. Inhale, rising up high. Exhale to the side. Inhale up tall. Hands together, heart center. Rise, root down, rise up. Inhale, slight twist to the side. Coming back to center. Inhale, root down, rise up. Lengthening your spine, helping you to twist a little bit further. And coming back. Inhale, rising up high. First sun salutation of the day. Forward fold, letting your belly hit your thighs. Inhale, coming up slightly, lifting your belly up, putting your um, hands on your shins. Exhale, back to the floor. Push down, root up high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to the floor. Inhale, rising up high. Exhale, down. Halfway lift, back to the floor. Inhale, rising up high. Taking that left hand to the uh, chair. Taking that first bend of the day. Having your palm out towards me. Reaching up and out through the armpit. Lengthening over your side. If you can, gazing at your bicep. Keeping your legs, knees parallel, up and rise over to the other side, palm towards me, if you can, looking at your bicep, rising up high, inhale up, exhale forward fold, halfway lift, back to the floor, inhale, rising up high, coming to prayer, resting at heart center hands to your knees, lifting up your heels and your toes and your heels and your toes. And one more time your toes, one more time your heels. Heel to your feet out to the uh, chair width, lengthening your spine, hands on your hips. We're going to circle around you can, stretching out that back, lower back. Hitting every number on the clock as you go, being very mindful as you hit each number. And going around the other way. Heel toeing your feet back together. Hands to the side of your chairs, lengthening your feet. 
bringing your toes as close to your knees as possible, rooting down with whatever is touching the floor or touching your chair, rising up high. Exhale, hinging forward, leading with your chest, keeping your neck long, bringing your toes closer to your knees. Just pausing here for a moment, just enjoying that stretch. Rooting down, rise up tall. Inhale, rise up high. Exhale, hinging forward. Root down, rise up. Bringing that left sole of your foot to the chair. Interlacing your hands, placing it on your left knee. Rising up tall. Exhale, hinging forward. And again, bringing your toes towards your knee and root down, rise up. Switching legs, switching knees, lengthening that left leg, left toes towards your knee, rising up high. The big inhale, exhale, hinging forward. And coming up tall. Bring that leg back. Coming to a cat and cow with our hands as a cactus. Palms towards me, maybe goalposts or a cactus root down. You're taking your first inhale with pushing your um, heart through your arms, bringing your arms back. Shoulder blades together, elbows closer together, gazing at the ceiling. Exhale, coming in, rounding your back. Elbows together. Coming into yourself, root down, big inhale, coming up tall. Exhale, coming into yourself. Inhale, rising up. This is a great way to wake up your spine. Exhale, coming in. We'll do that two more times. Root down to help you rise up, enjoying that big breath. Exhale, coming into yourself. Rounding your back, chin to chest, elbows together. And one more time, up. And one more time, into yourself. And coming up tall. Taking a breath, recentering yourself. Maybe closing your eyes here, softening your face. And just taking three breaths here. Noticing the sensation of your palms on your thighs. Sensation of your breath rising up. And exhale. Opening your eyes, inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, back to the floor. Inhale, rise up high. Two more. Exhale down. Halfway lift. Back to the floor. Inhale up. Exhale down. Halfway lift. And back to the floor. Placing your hands on your knees and just gently coming up tall. Heel toe on your feet out, not as quite as wide as the chair, but maybe you have to. You're going to take your right elbow to your right knee, your right hand to your left knee. And we're going to hinge forward, bringing that left arm down. Maybe bringing your feet out a little bit further to help you hinge. Keeping your neck long. When you dangle over your knees, you could get dizzy, so don't do that. And taking an inhale, we're going to do this three times, just lifting our hand, watching our gaze, our gaze following our fingertips. Maybe just going a little bit and coming down. Inhale, rise up, maybe getting a little bit taller. Exhale, down. Inhale, really reach, spreading out your fingertips, reaching as far as you can. Exhale, down. Placing your hands on your knees and lifting yourself up. Taking an inhale, rising up high. Exhale to your side. 
Taking your left elbow to your left knee, your left hand to your right knee. Hinging forward, keeping a long spine, a long neck, bringing that um, right fingertips down by your toes. Root down, taking a big inhale. And exhale, bringing that hand up, having your gaze follow your fingertips, and coming down. Two more times. Root down, inhale, rise up. Exhale down. And last one, inhale, rising up high. Exhale down. Hands on your knees, rise up. Taking a breath here. Exhale. Taking an inhale, gliding your hands up to your hips. Opening up your heart. Elbows behind you, gazing up. And exhale, gliding your hands over your knees. Chin to chest, rounding your back. Inhale, rising up, gliding over your knees, over your thighs to your hips, opening up high. Exhale, over and down. Inhale, rise up high. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Staying here at your thighs. Maybe bring, if, you've, if you put your feet out, before bringing your feet back a little bit. Again, um, your feet are a little bit um, as wide as the chair. Lengthening your spine here. Taking the inside of your, uh, your outside of your right arm to the inside of your right leg and twisting and lifting up, pushing your arm, your knee against your um, elbow and your elbow against your knee helps you lift a little bit higher. And coming up tall, taking a breath and bringing your um, left arm down your left leg, pushing your knee and elbow against each other, taking that twist and then bringing that arm up. And coming down, coming back up tall. One more time to each side, right arm down, left arm up. If you want to, having your wrist going around and around, Taking a moment on your knees, taking a breath. And bringing that left arm down, rooting down, pushing your elbow and your knee together, twisting first, lifting up. And coming down. And coming to center. Heel toe your feet in, rising up high. Exhale, forward fold, halfway lift, back to the floor, rising up high, coming to prayer, resting at heart center, hands to your knees. We're going to um, we're going to go to the side of the chair, we're going to stay seated in the chair, but coming to the side. So again, you're having your beautiful seat, but at the side, so having your feet parallel to each other. And just sitting here as tall as you can, bringing your navel into your spine, taking your tailbone towards the chair, taking your um, right hand to the back of the chair, and on the inhale, just rising up. Exhale down. Two more times. Inhale, rise up. Root down, lengthening your spine, getting tall, and coming down. One more time. Inhale up. And exhale down. Now, this might not be comfortable for you, so if this doesn't work for you, you can do the same thing and just staying at this position. But you're going to take your outside leg and you're going to bring it so your leg is down, your knee is towards the floor, and the um, top of your foot is on the floor. If you can, it's a great way to stretch out the top of your foot, stretching out your ankle. But again, being very tall here. And again, we're going to just lift up here and bend to the back of the chair. If this is uncomfortable for you, bringing that leg back up 
to meet the other leg. Coming up tall. Inhale, rise up, lifting high, and bending over the back of the chair. Coming up high, reach up tall, and bending over. Coming up tall, bringing your arm down, bringing your leg back up. Now, again, sitting tall, taking that outside leg and coming towards me. And if this is enough for you, just stay here. If you wanna go a little deeper, bringing that um, left leg long, bringing your toes towards your feet, your toes towards your knee. And again, we're gonna rise up with our breath, bending over to the back of the chair, bringing your palm towards me and reaching towards your toes. If you only hit your knee, you only hit your knee. But wherever your hand hits, taking a little breath here, rise up, and then see if you can glide your hand a little bit further down your leg. Gliding your hand back up your leg, reaching up tall, bending behind you. Exhale, palm toward me, landing wherever it does on your leg and gliding down whatever feels good for you today. Coming back up. One more time, up tall, bend back. Enjoy your breath, don't hold your breath. Coming down wherever your hand touches and gliding down. Really rooting down on that right foot to give you the strength, holding on to the back of your chair coming up tall. Hand on your hip, bringing your leg back up to, to um, neutral. And one more time if you can, if you want to, bringing that leg, that knee straight to the floor, having the top of your uh, foot stretching here, bringing your leg back, and then, let's see how I do this, bringing that left leg long here in front of you, Again, your arm, your right arm is to the back of your chair. Right foot is planted tall, um, planted strong, rising up high, hinging forward, leading with those fingertips, and going as deep as you can. Root down, rise up, inhale, and exhale. Root down, whatever's touching the floor or the chair, rise up high. Exhale down. Root down, rise up high. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale again, leading with your fingertips, grabbing for something just out of reach and coming down. And rising up high. Bringing your hand down, bringing your leg bent. And just taking a moment here, taking two breaths. Then coming back to center. Put my chair over this side. And just taking a note how one side feels a little bit different than the other side. Just taking a moment again to root down through your feet, feeling your big toe and your pinky toe inside of your heel, the outside of your heel, and rise up tall, and exhale. Coming to the opposite side, again sitting in your beautiful seat, but just to the side of your chair, taking um, your left arm to the back of the chair. Bringing your navel towards your spine, tucking your um, tailbone towards, shooting down towards the chair. Taking inhale, rise up high. Exhale down. Inhale high. Exhale down. Inhale high. Exhale down. Bringing your hand to your hip. 
and taking um, this right knee towards the um, floor. If that is uncomfortable for you, um, one side might feel better than the other, hips are different from each other. Just keeping your leg like this, that works too. So bringing your knee to the, um, towards the floor, untucking your toes so that you can really push down through the top of your foot, root down with that um, left foot, rise up high, inhale, and bending over. And again, you can still do these bends if your legs are, are both on the floor, if your feet are both on the floor. Rise up tall, and down. Inhale up, exhale bend. Inhale up and exhale down. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale bend. Inhale up and down. Bringing that um, sole of your foot back up. Bringing your leg out, your right leg out wide. If this is all you can do, again, this is fine. If you want to go a little deeper, lengthening that right leg, bringing your toes towards your knee. Inhale, rising up. Bend into the back of your chair. Reaching, reaching. Coming up tall, having your palm towards me. Hinging towards your toes, wherever your hand touches your leg. Take a slight inhale and exhale gliding your hand a little bit further, bringing your toes a little bit closer, and rooting down with that left sole of your foot. Gliding back up your leg. Inhale, rise up high. Bending over your chair. Rise up tall, twisting towards me, hinging forward, having your um, hand wherever it lands, and gliding down. Move down, glide back up. One more time, rising up high. Coming back towards me. Bringing those toes closer to your knee. And coming up. Bringing that leg back up bent. Again, taking one more time. Maybe with a little bit stretch, it feels a little bit better. Pushing the top of your foot to the floor, the sole of your other foot to the floor, helping you to rise up tall here. Taking one inhale and one exhale. Bringing your foot back up together and then lengthening that right leg. Lengthen the right leg. Again, rooting down whatever is touching the floor, touching the chair, rising up high, lengthening your arm up tall, leading with your fingertips, reaching for something out of your grip, and coming up, hinging down. Root down, rise up high, and exhale. Inhale, rise up high, exhale. down, rise up high, and exhale. One more time, rise up high, exhale down. Taking your hand to, the, to your leg and just gliding back up, bringing your sole of your foot back and coming to the center. Again, just noticing how you're feeling, taking a breath here. Close your eyes and exhale. Inhale, rise up high. Interlacing your thumbs, helping you to rise up and bending over to the left, lengthening the right side. Coming up tall and bending over to the right side, lengthening your left. Inhale, rise up high. Root down, rise up one more time, going to one side. And then the other. Coming up tall, having your hands to your side. And bringing your hands to your knees. Inhale, 
inhale, rise up high. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift. Back to the floor. Root down, rise up high. Big inhale here. Really bringing your fingertips together. Exhale, collapsing into your chair, allowing your back to rest on the back of the chair. Letting your feet flop, your chin drop. Closing your eyes, softening your mouth, softening your tongue, letting your shoulders relax. Notice your breath. And as I read again from the book of John, just take note down. Just take note of these words of, I'm going to read them twice just to take time to pick out a word you need today, stitch it in your heart to give you the strength you need to make it through the day, the strength you need to make it through the week. So I will read the words twice, keeping your um, eyes closed, and just focus on these words. John 15, starting at verse one. I am a true sprouting vine, and the farmer who tends the vine is my father. He cares for the branches connected to me by lifting and propping up the fruitless branches and pruning every fruitful branch to yield a greater harvest. The words I have spoken over you have already cleansed you. So you must remain in life union with me, for I remain in life union with you. For as a branch severed from the vine will not bear fruit, so your life will be fruitless unless you live your life intimately joined to mine. I am the sprouting vine and you are my branches. As you live in union with me as your source, fruitfulness, will stream from within you. But when you live separated from me, you are powerless. So again, breathe in these words. Think of how you are being pruned. Does it give you joy? Does it give you pain? But know that the pruning makes you more fruitful, a greater harvest. And I will, I'll read these one, words one more time and just slow your breath again, taking in these words. I am a true sprouting vine and the farmer who tends the vine is my father. He cares for the branches connected to me by lifting and propping up the fruitless branches and pruning every fruitful branch to yield a greater harvest. The words I have spoken over you have already cleansed you so you must remain in life union with me, for I remain in life union with you. For as a branch severed from the vine will not bear fruit, so your life will be fruitless unless you live your life intimately joined to mine. I am the sprouting vine and you're my branches. As you live in union with me as your source, fruitfulness will stream from within you but when you live separated from me, you are powerless. So breathe in the promises of John, the promises that our, that our Lord has told us. In these beautiful words. How he only wants abundance of fruit for us. invite you to deepen your breath, to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Lifting your back off the back of your seat, coming into your beautiful mountain pose. 
and rooting your feet down, giving you your strength, that foundation to bear good fruit today. And taking your hands to your side, closing your eyes, taking a deep inhale. Exhale through the mouth. One more time, deep inhale. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale, rising your hands over your head, coming to prayer, resting at heart center. And may we all say, Amen. Thank you for practicing with me today. Have a very fruitful, fruitful week.